Oh, it reminds me of a letter. I've got a rough idea of what I'm going to write. Again, yeah, don't get it. That's a blank piece of paper. I've got a rough idea of what I'm going to write. I'm going to Cape Planchette. I need more shell than the last time I've been so. I've got a rough idea of what I'm going to write. I can't have dates yet, that's for sure. What's the date? Is it 16th? Already on the window. Doesn't look like that. Six and a bit, really. Um, what are you doing? I'm writing. I'm writing. I'm writing. I'm also writing. I'm also writing. Also. I'm writing. I'm writing. To also help. To help also. To aid you. To aid you. Further aid your recovery and some And to one again. Further aid your recovery and close some DVDs with that one of the films one of the DVDs. Oh, it's not bad. I'll give it, I'll give it a B minus. Dear Kate, I had been looking through your list of things that you have appeared in and couldn't help noticing that although you were selected to play Elizabeth in the first film, you weren't selected to play in the sequel, Elizabeth 2. I'm sure that must have been disappointing for you, which is why I suppose you did Elizabeth 1 again the following year to help get over it. From further aid you're uncovering, I enclose some DVDs with this letter. One of the files on one of the DVDs is me reading out loud a letter I myself wrote to Elizabeth 2, which I also videoed. To be honest, Elizabeth 2 sounds a bit strapped for cash these days. So I don't know why she didn't at least audition for the role herself. 
You never know, she might put the part. The DVDs also contain some video of me trying to play Trivial Pursuit on my Wii machine. I hope these videos also go some way to relieving some of the pain of being snubbed for the sequel. Love, Mr. Morton.